Thanks for joining us again. Here we are wrapping up day two at the National Auto Dealers Association convention. And I'm joined right now by Tom Murphy from Wards and Steve Finley from Wards. And Steve, you've been around the show. You've been interviewing all kinds of people. Anything that really stood out? <laughs> Well, all are, it's sort of a blur at I, this I, point. I hear but, you. It's so many uh, interviews. It's just uh, amazing how much the, the, the digital world has uh, descended on uh, car selling and uh, also financing and F and I and everything that goes with it. I mean, there is such a move towards digital. Everybody has something out here that <laughs> pertains to how to sell to a customer uh, on the internet, and then also the the ultimate goal being. Um, getting the deal done faster. So that's the magic thing. You don't want to spend hours doing it, but on the other hand, it is a complicated transaction. You got to spend some time, but the least the better. Steve, uh, dealers have always got this reputation of being kind of stodgy, you know, heels in the mud. You can drag me into this kicking and screaming. What do you think about the move to this digital world? Yeah. They going kicking and screaming or are they well, embracing not, it? The, they were, but not anymore. Certainly not anymore. And you know, it's interesting because one dealer was telling me today, he said, like, we don't want the customer in the store any longer than they have to be here. You know, it's not in our best interest either. So you want to turn the sale fast. So you want, yeah, you want to get them in and out without making them feel rushed. And you certainly don't want to make them feel like they're wasting their time hour after hour buying an automobile. Tom, what do you have a lot of metrics too. You know, the metrics really show how much the, the buyers today want to use digital. They want to shop online. They're not just going to go into one or two showrooms. They can, they can search the entire internet to find the car that they want, and it's, it's pretty fascinating. Um, I was talking with Experian the other day uh, about 84-month loans, which I know we've had them, but more and more we're seeing people financing cars for 84 months, not just new, but used cars. And they're talking about people buying five-year-old cars and financing them for seven years, and you think, wow, how can that make sense? And they say, well, you know, these cars are lasting longer, so it's not a problem. Well, they are lasting longer, but you know, Steve, I got to believe that uh, a seven-year loan on a five-year-old car is not something the rest of us would want to well, do. That's a long time, and some people are just have to do that because of their financial circumstances. But it was funny at one of the conferences, the financial conferences, they were talking about in the early days. You didn't take a, a loan out to buy a car. A GMAC was the first one to do that a hundred years ago. And at the time there was pushback like, oh wow, you're going into debt to buy a car? And now, you know, not that many cars are not financed. Yeah, Tom, we've seen interest rates go up already. Uh, the Federal Reserve is talking about raising them maybe another three times yet this year. How's that going to affect this dealer business? Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see. I'm concerned mostly about how it's going to impact the, you know, the OEM side of the business. Um, already we're seeing used car sales are, are increasing. People are buying a lot of used cars. Um, and the dealers might be fine with that because their profits might be better with the used both, cars. Right? Yeah, they're selling them both, right? It doesn't matter. And margins, I think, are getting better on the used cars. But then how does that impact the factories? How does that impact the oat? Now, the automakers, they're going to have to adjust their production schedules because you don't want you know, too much inventory. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, if three rate increases over the next year, that, that just makes cars more expensive. Well, it, uh, so, sends so it, people to, it sends a lot of people to the used car lot. It does, exactly, yeah. But, you know, Tom raises a good point. Dealers probably don't care no, that much, care. right? No, it as doesn't long as matter to them. Vehicles, whether it's new or used, <laughs> yeah. they probably make more money on the used anyway. They do, they do. I'm okay. curious, though, about um, private sales as opposed to happening at dealers. I mean, some people still like to buy from private individuals, but is, I mean, are there any metrics that are showing us that people are buying less from private individuals and more, so, you know, with the used well, cars? Dealers that sell more used cars than anybody. They sell about 16 million a year. The um, uh, independent dealers, uh, I mean, the franchise dealers do that. The independent dealers sell about 14 million, and then the rest. Uh, are the uh, private parties are about 10 million. Uh, so the franchise dealers know how to sell used cars and they're very good at it and they're leading the pack. Not only that, they've got the newest used cars. Yeah. Right. And you know, the CPO, the certified, certified pre owned programs, sometimes. have really caught on. Absolutely. What else? Have we missed or have we covered it all for the wrap up of the second day? You know what I've seen here? A lot of basketball hoops. <laughs> well, you know that's I mean, that's funny. There's the hundred dollar challenge over in the North Hall. One of the you know one of the vendors has the hundred dollar challenge. You hit 
a series of them, and you, know, you get a hundred bucks. And uh, so every every once in a while, you you, know, you hear the people cheering, and oh, somebody just won a hundred bucks. You know? that, that is one thing that I've noticed here, as opposed to say like an auto show. Yeah. This is way more fun. There's a bar yeah, right over there. Say, oh. They're giving away a hundred bucks here. <laughs> They've got golf and hoops. Right. <laughs> I saw <laughs> that caught my eye. Maybe the basketball <laughs> hoops caught yours, but no. Just I saw rolling coolers of beer at eleven o'clock this morning. Oh, wow, they're starting <laughs> early. Aren't yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we're all here. Yeah. But we're going to wrap this up. Okay, <laughs> Tom Murphy, Steve Finley, thanks you guys for Thank helping you, me out on this. Vicky from Ally keeps finding new ways to earn my loyalty. First, it was a custom proposal to help grow our business, and now. Jerry! Is that your car? <laughs> no, it's hers. What do you think of the cape? At Ally, we're the right amount of obsessed with our customers. Ally, do it right.